All right, if I want to find out where the vertical asymptotes are of this, you basically are going to set the bottom equal to zero. But before you set the bottom equal to zero, you sometimes want to look for removal of discontinuities by canceling out, by factoring and canceling and finding holes. So let's actually start off by factoring and canceling and finding any kind of holes. So when you factor the top, you get x minus 4, x plus 4. And on the bottom, when you cancel, what negative 20 and 1 will be 5 and negative 4. So x plus 5, x minus 4. So right off the bat, what you'll notice right off the bat is x equals 4 is called a removable discontinuity. It's a removable discontinuity, meaning a hole. It's a hole in the graph. Okay, so right off the bat, you know that's a removable discontinuity. So then all you have to do is you have a new equation. So my new equation is simply oh, y equals x plus 4 over x plus 5. And you go, OK, that's my new equation. So I set my bottom equal to 0. And when I do that, I get x equals negative 5. Oh. Let's check to make sure that's the vertical asymptote. When I plug negative 5 back into the equation, you get y of, I call it negative 5, just kind of say I'm plugging negative 5 into y, is equal to negative 5 plus 4 divided by negative 5 plus 5, which is negative 1 over 0. So you got a number over zero. That is a vertical asymptote. So your answer then is that is a hole, which you probably want to write that for the test. And the other one is x equals negative 5 is a vertical asymptote. x equals negative 5 is the equation of a vertical line. That's a vertical asymptote, number over zero. This is a hole. Now, right off the bat, you could have just solved the bottom and realized that this and this and set both of these equal to zero. And you would have realized when you plugged in this one, you would have got a number. If you would have plugged in 4 into this original equation, if you plug 4 in the original equation, you would have got 0 over 0, called indeterminate, which means you do not have the vertical asymptote there. So if you would have plugged the 4 into this, you would get 0 over 0. Whenever you get 0 over 0, it's usually a hole. And that's kind of telling you something. 